Hello again, everyone. I'm here today with some new to me watercolors from A Gallo. They're handmade in Italy and they are honey watercolors. So I have tried some handmade um, Italian watercolors before and was a little disappointed, mostly because of the the color composition of the palette that I got and uh, the sort of grittiness of the watercolors and sort of the lack of saturation. I'll put a, a link to the video down below where I went through that other brand. Now I'm, I'm actually <laughs> forgetting the brand, um, but I'll put the link to that video below. But this is a different company called A Gallo. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This came direct from Italy, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this particular brand has gotten quite a few good reviews online, so I am excited to try it. I'm actually gonna be swatching these out for you today. And this is what came in the box. So this is my little palette that I got, which was a special, um, let's see, what did they call it? They called it uh, Signature 12 Color Palette. So they had some different colors in there. And then it came with these little postcards. This is a postcard, a business card rather. So this is their uh, business card with all their information on it and then they have some information on the back about the company and um, so I'm going to put those aside and it also came with this really beautiful little uh, dot card of I assume some colors that I don't have but I don't know um, but they look really pretty here on the little dot card I'm not going to test out the the colors on the dot card today but I did want to show you that that was included in the order. So I'm just going to be doing a swatching of these colors that are in this palette. So let's see. I'm just going to slide that out. Looks like it just slides like that. And it's so, it's so pretty and wrapped in this lovely little tissue paper here and nicely packed and protected with some bubble wrap. That's always nice. Oh, and I love that label. That's really nice. I'll put that to the side. Yes, I'm definitely gonna keep that paper. I wonder if that's like handmade paper. I don't know, but either way, it's really, really pretty. I'll definitely keep that. So this just comes in a standard tin here, but the, the oh, and they have, oh, perfect. So I will just swatch them on the uh, little swatch card. I had some paper all set up over here um, my normal pentallic paper, but if they have this, I'll go ahead and put the swatches on here and that will be, that will be good for my future reference as well. <laughs> Cute. Warning, choking hazard. Yeah. So don't, don't let little babies have your watercolor, but here we go. And it came with a little brush, which was super cool too, from this brand Tintoretto. And I, um, I just recently purchased a Tintoretto Tintoretto brush that I really liked so I was really happy that this came included with it and the colors are very interesting I'm very excited about these colors so um, let's see I don't think I'm gonna use this brush today just because I it's it's a mop brush and I think it's gonna be a little bit better suited for something larger than this sheet of paper um, I might do a follow-up about this little travel brush, but just know that it's included and I just I just don't really want to get into it today because it's not really the appropriate surface for that on here. Um, but I'm really excited about the color collection. We have, um, let's see, are they labeled? I'm not sure if they're labeled on the pans, but they are labeled on this little sheet here. Let me see if I can get these out one by one. Yes, they are labeled on the pan. So this is Azo Yellow Gold. And I'll just slide them out of these little things so we can get them ready. I'll just put them in the box over here. And then this one is Arancione. I guess that's orange. <laughs> yeah, I learned Italian in, um, oh, and it's also labeled on the, the, um, the pan itself, which is great. Yes, like this one just says Azo, which I would I would know what that was based on that. And then this one says Arancione. So I did take um, Italian in college um, because at that point it was really sort of my lifelong dream to go to Italy. And I did get the chance to go to Italy while I was in law school. I um, studied for a summer abroad in Rome, which was the most amazing experience ever. And I've been back many times since 
Um, have I been back like three times since? Um, maybe not to, no, no, I think every time I've gone back to Italy, I've gone to Rome at least, and then I've been to other places in Italy. Italy is one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, <laughs> however, I think with, with my uh, summer abroad, um, there were a lot of things about uh, Italy that kind of got on my nerves eventually. Um, so I think six weeks was kind of the maximum. But uh, regardless, even if I got tired of it, every time I go back, I, I fall in love with it all over again. Italy is amazing. Highly recommend a visit back um, when coronavirus is over. Um, so anyway, so this one is, let's see, this is quinacridone red gold. And this just says PO48, which is the pigment number. Um, and yes, these are in the same order up there. So I'll just keep them in that order and then I'll know which color I'm doing the swatches of. And this one is ruby red. And these do have pigment information on the wrappers, which is really nice. The One of my other complaints about the other Italian uh, watercolors that I ordered is that they didn't have any pigment information, either on their wrappers or on their website. So it was just like, I don't even know what these are made out of. Let's see, do they all? Yeah, they all have the pigment information. The orange um, or the arancione is... Uh, PY83, PV19, and PR101. So that's actually quite a few pigments. The Azo Yellow Gold is PY151 and PY43. The, um, that was PO48, that's the one we just did. And then the uh, Ruby Red is PR264. I think that this is really what I was hoping for with that other set. And this is, we'll, we'll see, and I can even feel just based on feel of the dried pans that these are probably going to re-wet pretty easily the other ones also did not re-wet very well so this color oops let's see this is ooh, opera rose interesting pr122 i did know what the colors were when i ordered it but i had forgotten which ones were included and then this is a beautiful blue this is aquamarine which has pb15 colon 4 and pg7 Okay. It's really pretty. Some of these are a little tighter than others. Let's see, I'll move those all towards the middle. And I probably will keep these as a set without any additional colors, so um, having this little color guide will be great. And sorry, some of these are hard to get out. I'm trying not to take too crazy long. Okay, so this one is Fig Green which is PY151 and PG17. And I just think that anyone who's making artist watercolors and knows who's buying their watercolors should know to include pigment information because, I mean, that's, that's a really important part of, um, of buying watercolors is knowing what pigments they are. So this is Olive Green Deep, which is PB29, PY1, Oh, that's interesting. Let me see. No, PY110 and PY154. The uh, paint is a little dark, so it is, had obscured some of the pigment info. Oh my goodness, this one's super tight. Okay. There we go. But these colors are all very interesting and unique and... I really like them. So this one is uh, Harbor Blue, which is PB15 colon three and PBR7. So it's similar uh, to the Aquamarine up here, which is a slightly different blue shade in there. Okay, this one came out a little bit easier. And, Okay, so this one is in Danthron Blue, which is one of my favorite blues, PB60. Okay. And I'm definitely going to save those wrappers because they're really pretty. Okay, this is, um, what does that say? Uh, Tyrian Purple. And this is PB16 and PB15. And this color looks absolutely beautiful on here. It is Noturno, Noturno, nighttime, I suppose. 
uh, PR179 and PB29. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to be using this brush. I'm just going to leave the brush in there, and then I am going to put this aside. These may look a little small starting out, but I am going to show you um, what they look like close up towards the end of the video. And I have a, um, a brush off to the side that will be a little bit better for making these smaller swatches here. So I have some water off to the side, and then I also have a paper towel if I need it. Okay, actually move that paper towel a little closer in case I do really need it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go, oh see, see this is, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is re-wetting, super easy. This is Azo Yellow Gold. Now this, this is a color, this is a brand from Italy that I can recommend based just based on that, it's like worlds away from that other brand. Okay, and then I'm going to go into, again, super easy to re-wet. Arancione. I just like saying that. <laughs> yes, and I remember when learning Italian, there was... Um, a long lesson on how CI is actually chi and CA is ka and then um, CHI is key. There's like different letter combinations actually mean different things after C and it's it's complicated but once you learn it it's it's pretty easy to to uh, remember. Quinacridone red gold these are so amazing seriously had the other watercolors been like this, I would have no complaints at all. This is just like an amazing watercolor set. Okay, so uh, I'm glad that I finally found the set that I was looking for. <laughs> Oops, I got some color there on the table. This one is ruby red, and these are so saturated. Like I just touched this to that pan, and this is how much saturated color I got off of it. It's just gorgeous. It re-wets so easily, and they've all been like that so far. This one is Opera Rose. Oh, and that's pretty. Although it looks a little bit more like a magenta to me than an Opera Rose. I think Opera Rose tends to be a little bit more um, sort of nuclear pink than I think that one is. This one's Aqua Marine, oh, which is so pretty. These are all gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with these watercolors. And they look really beautiful on this little swatch sheet. And like I said, I will show them up closer to the camera. And every single one, every single one wets fantastically. This one's fig green. This almost looks like a um, green gold, sort of similar to a green gold. This one is olive green deep. And all of these colors are very interesting too. They're not just the standard, you know, magenta and cadmium, etc. It's, uh, they're, they're all very interesting. Even this one, you know, ruby red is probably more like a cadmium red and opera rose is more like a magenta, but the colors themselves are way saturated and they just have a very nice quality to them. And it looks like some of these are granulating, but I can't really tell in these smaller samples and I don't have enough water added to them to really know either, I think. Harbor Blue, that's gorgeous. That's very gorgeous. Okay, this next one is in Danthrone Blue. And in Danthrone Blue, yeah, okay, that's the same one. <laughs> in Danthrone Blue is just a really beautiful dark blue that I think skews a little to the red side, but is really, really pretty. And yeah, uh, Tyrian purple. I mean, I've had to go back in with a couple colors, but they are they just rewet so easily. This is these are amazing. And then the last one here is Notorno, and I really do love the uh, the palette as a whole and how all these colors work together. I mean, I think this is going to be a really good standalone palette. All right. Okay. 
100% happy with these. So there you go, Azo Yellow Gold, Arancione, Quinacridone Red Gold, Ruby Red, Opera Rose, Aquamarine, Fig Green, Olive Green Deep. I think that one might have gotten a little washed out, so that probably could be built up a little bit more. Harbor Blue, Indanthron Blue, Tyrian Purple, and Noturno. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. They're handmade in a, a CC, apparently. They're crafted according to a traditional recipe of raw pigments, gum arabic, local honey, and rosemary essential oil. Ooh. I'm not sure I smell the rosemary essential oil. Let me smell. Maybe just a tiny bit, but if you hadn't told me, I, I might not recognize it. I mean, I can smell something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then it's written in Italian down below. But these are gorgeous. I, you know, just based on this, um, get these when they're available. I, th I think probably a really good sign too is that whenever they do a restock, they sell out right away. Um, when I first encountered this company, they were all sold out. And so I signed up for their uh, mailing list and then they emailed me and said that they're, they were stocking some colors on a particular day. It doesn't didn't seem like they do it very often either. So I would say join the mailing list if you're interested. Um, but these are these are amazing. They like I said, they, I just touch the brush to each of these colors and they rewet. Um, some of them I probably use a little too much water on my brush, like this one. I think actually let me go ahead and see if I can go in there with a little bit more of this color and build it up because I don't think I'm really doing this color justice by having it be washed out like that. Okay. And let me get in here with my paper towel. I think I put a little too much water on the side too. All right. So there, I think that that's a really good representation there, but all these colors are beautiful. All right. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm like, well, you can probably tell I'm very, very happy with these. And based on this, I would highly recommend them. I'm going to play around with them, do some sketching and then possibly do a follow up video to let you know how I'm feeling about them. All right. Well, if you, um, like this video, give it a like. I've, I welcome you to subscribe to keep track of future videos. I hope to see you next time. And until then, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.